I start a family, I can't even make it up again. Say, if you're 40, you're not married yet. Bro, what's, what's happening, man? <laughs> today is inspired by how to make curry he posted something on his uh, social media page which he shared with his old boys association as uh, things you should do before you turn 40 and after reading it I I thought it was very insightful and very pertinent that men discuss this thing and I have been saying it anybody that knows me knows that I've been saying it that if there's something lacking for young men in our generation it is mentors we don't have mentors when i mean mentors close up mentors mentors that really take you under their wings and mentor you there are very few men who have time to mentor, mentor other men you know so most times men learn from observing other men from afar right like for me i've told my story before where i, I reached out to two people who i felt were in the field where i needed mentorship and you know they didn't oblige me right but I mean, I don't have anything against them. I did, I, they were too, they were busy, really busy people, and they, they didn't have time for that. So I totally understand. But I, I saw this post and I thought, really, I had to discuss it. Things you should do before you turn forty. So number one on this list is at the age of forty, you must have started a side hustle. And I totally agree. Um, if you didn't start business early, maybe you had a, a really good job or you stayed in a particular job for years. Before you turn 40, you should start a side hustle, a side business, something extra that gives you money apart from what you are already doing, maybe your job or whatever, right? Start a side hustle. There are several, I can't even begin to um, explain to you why you need to have a side hustle. Let's say you, you had a great career, you know, you were in the banking or in oil and gas or in telecoms, you had a great career, you climbed all the way through the corporate corporate ladder and you became an ED, you know, executive director or a partner or something, a point will come when you would have to either resign or, uh, you know, um, you resign or you either resign or you retire, right? Now, what do you do? You know, you've made money, you know, let's assume. What do you do from there going on, right? If you don't have a side hustle, you know, but then again, even after you've left, so what, what you have to hand over something to your children, right? So what are you leaving for them? Are you leaving for them your sterling career or have you put out something, put things that they will leave on after you are gone? Because <laughs> by 40, you are probably at the height of your career if you are a, are a professional, right? If you're a professional, you're probably at the height of your career. career. Maybe you started... Uh, when you were 20 now you're 40 you've done 20 years of um, active work so i mean that's the height of your career so start a side hustle that's number one number two start a family <laughs> date with purpose right now <laughs> okay so <laughs> this is interesting i uh, start a family i can't even make it to get say if you're 40 you're not married yet bro what's, what's happening man <laughs> what's happening with you man if you're 40, you're not married. I mean, it's okay if you don't want to marry. And, you know, in the Bible also, you know, spoke about Paul and say, I mean, anybody, if you don't marry, it's cool. But, I mean, you know, you knock, 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 finish. You know, knock to keep. You just didn't knock to go. <laughs> All right. So, right, date with purpose, try to marry, right? So that's number two. Number three says, make a wheel. You will not live forever. Amazing stuff. You know, make a wheel make a wheel you know i mean these days you know there are websites where you can do it online i've forgotten the name of one but i know there are websites where you can make your wheel online you know and have it you know have uh, an attorney or a, a, um, a legal uh, firm oversee it for you so, but make a wheel is very important and i totally agree with that one number four find your style and grooming i can't even begin to overemphasize on this even me myself i'm still trying to find my style and grooming and, and, and the truth is when i read this it occurred to me that before 40 you should have found your style and grooming what does that mean your look as a man you should have a look right you should have a look you should you 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 should be able to, you should be able to be sported and distinguished 
in an audience in a crowd right so first of all define your look what do you wear what fits you especially when you are going out or when you are at home so there's this thing men do or people do so when you're going out you dress up really good but when you are at home you don't wear anything you wear any rag so bad stop it stop it there are clothes that you can wear when you are at home your home wears there are clothes that you can wear when you go out and they should look the part you should be in character always and all the time always you know you, you know and, and the, the, truth, the, truth, the, the truth is a lot of us who probably didn't come from a wealthy family we have a way of when we want to go out you know, dress nice once you are at home you just pick up one of your rags and wear you know and i used to be like that i used to <laughs> i bought a particular cloth i liked it so much it served several purposes for me but as much as i love that cloth it occurred to me that bro this cloth is weak it's been there for too long so once in a while declutter every clothes that you're not wearing throw them away or if it's still good give it away get fresh clothes have a cloth have the clothes with which you go to bed your pajamas or you know uh, whatever kind of clothes you go to bed with that you're comfortable with have clothes you stay at home with have your sportswear you know to go out and maybe run or stuff have your your corporate wares have your traditional wares take out time i know most men don't have time for this there are other men who also have who take their time people like me i don't have time for clothing but i had to begin to deliberately arrange make sure that i have you know so so make sure you define your style then define your grooming how do you want to look right what kind of hairstyle and beard do you keep right don't forget your inner wares your your underwear it's very important <laughs> very important you know you have to be clean always you know um in and out so your hairs your armpit your um uh central area you know what i'm talking about right yeah so make sure you are always clean always you shouldn't be caught wearing you know dirty boxers or pants uh, and stuff like that is bad is bad as a young a young man you know so define your style define your fashion define your grooming now number five is make crazy travel plans for your life get a holiday and i agree with that men have a lot of working and working and working especially when you are married you're focused on trying to make money build something for your family and then you forget about yourself you don't take uh, vacations you don't go on holidays you just keep you know working and working and that's why most a lot of men die early 40s 50s right because you don't take out time to just go and rest just go and rest take a road trip make a travel plan make a crazy travel plan decide that you want to see three continents or go to three countries or even three villages <laughs> if you can't do the continent or the countries very important trust me very important you have to do it make a crazy travel plan you don't want to be at on your deathbed and you regret you're regretting that you didn't really live your life so live your life live it to the fullest so do that number six learn a new language i totally agree learn a new language you know a friend and, and maybe an international language something that you can use in business you know french uh, Spanish or uh, you know uh, German you know just learn something learn something new something a new language very important for you you know do some uh, say do something you swore you would never do <laughs> yeah do something you swore you never do. try something new basically try something new learn how to swim learn something new learn how to swim learn how to play the piano you know learn something life is not boring it's only boring when you are not innovative when you are not living in your life so try something new you know do do uh, uh, do do skydiving right you know do bungee jumping just do some crazy right don't kill yourself <laughs> or don't drink poison right but try something new something that you've never tried before right go to dubai you know do a desert uh, a desert safari right you, you're you know ride and ride an animal do something ride a horse you know you know do some play polo play but you know get do something do something you know that will be memorable right do something memorable so uh buy a good timepiece uh, i agree i agree yes sir how do i agree buy a good wristwatch buy a good timepiece 
buy a good time to something really lovely right buy a good time piece a great one because it can be pawned off and it can be handed over to your kids so go into a really uh good um timepiece shop get an amazing wristwatch a timepiece get something beautiful right something expensive and original right you know because it it can be a heirloom yeah it can be so get one give a public speech as you get older, the ability to communicate is everything, exactly. So uh, each person you talk to, make them feel like you are talking to them directly. I'm reading this off Aldo's page, and I'm giving credit to him. I, I just feel it's so amazing. I thought to put, put do a video and then share it. So give a public speech. Learn how to do, uh, do public speaking, right? Because it, it, it can come in handy in so many ways because... Uh, as you grow older, you, you, if you're advancing in career, you get into executive offices, you get into um, corporate leadership, you have to be able to address people, speak to people um, on a podium, on a platform. It's good for you. It's good for your image if you really want to live your best life. So, you know, get it, go and learn how to give speeches, public speaking, right? You know, join a join a, a, you know, a club that does that, you know, so that you can learn how to speak. Now, vote and participate in local elections. Exactly. So true. So true. So true. Right? You know, register in a political party, vote and part participate in the election. Be voted for. Right? Try something new, basically. So, yeah, this is so powerful. And I, I agree. Switch your career path. If you have to switch your career path, try something new in your career. Now, another thing about this particular point is that technology is advancing, life is advancing. Right? What were the job descriptions and the, uh, of, of the yesteryears are not what they are now. They have either improved or gone extinct. For example, nobody is employing typewriters uh, or, or typists anymore. Right? Nobody is using typewriters anymore. Nobody is employing typists anymore. In fact, there's no, nothing like that anymore. Right? Uh, because um, the, the technology is advancing, people are advancing, life is advancing. So make sure you you know switch career path if you discover that your your, your career path right now is is out of want there's no money there switch to something else and then give up the old grudges that eat you up so if you have grudges you know you have beef with someone in your primary school secondary school in business you know, someone snatched your the babe you wanted to marry, so you're now married. The second option, and every time you still look at that guy, you feel angry. Whatever it is, <laughs> trust me. You know, let it go, cause life is short. So these are the twelve I would do. I'll come back and do um, the rest. But I thought to do this. I think it's really important. I think it will help a lot of guys. If you have any comments, drop it in the comment section. Let's talk about this. What are the things you should do before you turn for it? There are other things that are, that are on the list. I'll do it in the second version, but this is the first version. Now, drop in the comment box what the, are the things you think you, sh you should do before you turn for it. Have an amazing day. Please subscribe to our channel, to my channel. You know, let's grow this channel, right? And then have an amazing day. Bye-bye.